groundskeeper at the hospital. I'm a ward clerk, records and registration clerk. I'm a switchboard operator. I'm a cook. And I'm a dialysis assistant. I'm just about to set up a room for a um, hip surgery and uh, I will be uh, taking this uh, bed out and bringing the appropriate bed for, um, uh, for the uh, surgery that we're going to perform. And I'm going to use some of the equipment that I have outside. So that's what I'm getting ready uh, for right now. Someone is going in for an operation or a procedure in the hospital, in the operating room, they don't realize the, how many people it took to get them there. Um, we have the intake clerks, the registration clerks. You want to make sure that the, the person that's receiving the procedure is getting the procedure that they came to the hospital for. The booking clerks, they have coordinated the surgeon's time with the operating room time to make sure that that matches up. We have uh, people that are trained in sterilizing equipment so that anything that is used in the operating room is sterile. We have to get that room completely cleaned. When we change patients over, we need clean instruments, we need a clean room. Uh, all the furniture has to be swabbed down so that you are having a completely clean environment for the next patient. And if you have 10 cases that day, you're cleaning that room 10 times. And because you have 10 patients, 10 cases that day, you have to be very fast at doing this, turning them over. I work in pre-admission services as a ward secretary. Um, I guess we're kind of like the backbone of pre-admission, helping the nurses, um, getting patients ready for surgery. Um, we check the packages. And this desk here, I'm checking the packages to make sure everything's on there for their surgery. If something's missing, they could get cancelled. I'm an OR assistant here. And uh, as my uh, job uh, title uh, says, I assist in the OR. I'm the part of the team with the surgeons and uh, the uh, nurses. I uh, manage the equipment. I bring in uh, uh, the patient. I position the patient with the, uh, with the team. I help them uh, prep the patient uh, for the surgery. This has just come from an operating room. And this will be carried in here before it will before it goes to the sterile, to the washer. It has to be manually cleaned to take all this gross soil from the instrument. And then once we clean this manually, we put it into the washer disinfector. Uh, CPD is a central processing department that does all the instrument that comes in from all over the hospital that has been used for a minor surgery, major surgery, and it comes to us. Hospitals need skilled and highly trained support staff to facilitate efficient health care, to keep patients safe, to make sure medical supplies are where they are needed, when they are needed, and to meet the many daily needs of people in their care. My job description is um, delivering medical and surgical products to the nursing units. Uh, what I do is I have a gun. I go to each of my areas, my nursing units, and I have a storeroom, and it, which looks similar to this but with much more product on it. I scan the barcode, I enter the product into my gun, I come down to the stores department and I download it onto a computer and send it to the warehouse. And the next day the product comes via truck and I deliver it, sort it and deliver it and count it and send it to the floor. People that are dedicated to their job, and I will use the environmental services as an example, um, they care. They care deeply about their work. They also know that if their work isn't done properly, patients can get sick and patients can die. Infection rates can go skyrocketing, uh, and they are integral. We have meetings uh, once a month, and every meeting they're, they're, they're emphasizing the, uh, the importance of hand washing, of uh, infection control, and uh, the right chemicals, the right portions to, uh, to clean and to uh, keep infections at bay. Leonardo Ho, I'm working as a carpet floor specialist at the Environmental Services Department. The Occidental Hospital uh, 
invest a lot of money for this person it costs 16,000 in order to at least 80 percent of the dirt and germs in the floor will be absorbed through this machine. They take pride in their work that you know to them it is a blow if an outbreak comes because they're usually the first ones that are, that the infection control teams go after. You know, did you breach anything? Did this patient's uh, equipment come out of that room and not be cleaned? I work at York Central as a hostess um, in the kitchen. I uh, assemble the trucks and deliver them to the patients, and I've been here for about six years. You do uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? And we have a lot of patients, so we do men's, we do puree, uh, we do five different soups and every meal we have a main course which is it could be fish, macaroni and cheese so everything is pretty much fresh which is what we're trying to do now so everything we do we do it from scratch. Top priority is patients and you know whether they're happy with what they have and what they don't have so we have to make sure that we get everything organized and it's, it's right. <laughs> I work as patient care assistant to uh, assist the patients on their um, activity daily living, brush their teeth and change their clothes, you know, and sometimes they want to shower. Yeah. Those things, yeah. I'm a uh, registered practical nurse and I'm assigned here in your central hospital at the main dialysis unit. Uh, we cater to patients who are on regular hemodialysis. I've been an RPN at Hotel Dew for 25 years. Here on Brock 1, we're doing congestive heart failure today. Right. So we're calling them in. We need to get a weight on them, a blood pressure sitting and standing and taking a medication history. They're always telling that, oh, you know what? For us as a patient in the hospital, they said, we always wanted a person with a good smile to come up and to brighten our days. We make sure that as in every aspect we do it, it, during the treatment, we make sure that the patient is always safe. And whatever the patient says, we don't ignore. It's like um, when they feel that they're not feeling well, there's something funny that they are feeling. So we immediately um, act to it and explore more on what is happening. You do give positive feedback from, from the patients, which is nice. And the doctors, it's nice to work close with them as well. Right. And it's a lot of teamwork. Yeah. Right uh, from the docs down, right. you know. <laughs> they all know that they are there part of a team to improve people's lives, to um, help them get back to optimum levels of health. And, uh, I schedule patients in for imaging appointments, uh, such as CAT scans, mammograms, and ultrasounds. I also register patients at the reception window as they come in for those appointments, and assist with phone calls and reports for doctors' offices, as well as a radiologist and emergency department here. These workers are vital for the safe and efficient running of hospitals. Uh, without support staff, the patient's experience would be very different. When the patient is from long distance, I try to book um, many appointments, you know, uh, related together so that they can do it the same day, so which helps them a lot from driving and parking and all the stress of different tests. I've been a porter here for just over six years. I'm a porter here at the Hotel Du Hospital. I work in uh, patient transport. I push patients all around the hospital. I take uh, all the bare necessities around the different departments that it's needed. I enjoy meeting the patients, um, putting a smile on their face, um, helping them get ready for surgery, taking care of um, some of their family or friends um, that might be waiting for them to have surgery. So it's, it's a nice place to get to know people and makes you feel like you're, you're doing a little bit of good every day. When uh, the patients are back for another visit, they always remember you and you always treat them um, as friends, and you always go to your way to try and help them. So there are some support departments that actually never contact the patient, but that uh, doesn't mean that, that they don't, even in the background care, the uh, health records clerks uh, don't often see patients unless the patient is coming in for a release of information. I'm a document scanner 
and uh, basically my position entails uh, just scanning all the information from outpatient clinics on a daily basis. We like to say within 24 hour turnaround with our outpatient uh, documents and everything from today, outpatient clinics comes down to us and we receive all the documents and papers etc probably by 6.30, 7 o'clock and then we want to have them all in the system before we go home by 11. I release information um, done in the hospital to external physicians, institutes, other hospitals, healthcare providers. And I think the hardest part is probably it's, you got to be 100% accurate. There's just there's just no leeway for uh, mistakes. Well, it's a lot of medical terminology. Uh, you have to know the Privacy Laws, Mental Health Act, WSIB Act, uh, PHIPAA laws. A small mistake on the assembly line of a hospital um, providing a service can have fantastic ramifications down down the line and it might be a simple clerical error but it could have a, a big uh, change in the outlook of what's happening for that patient. I've worked in the uh, print shop for the last three and a half years and in here we do a lot of the internal uh, printing for the hospital in various areas including um, the emergency departments, COPC and urgent care, taking care of their triage forms as well as their appointment slips and uh, prescription pads. We also do a lot of the um, information packages for the clinics. I um, input data, um, patient's information, um, their address, home phone number, date of birth, family doctors next of kin and make sure that that's accurate. Um, it is used for billing purposes, it's used for calling next of kin in a case of an emergency. Um, it's um, That data is checked um, with the nurses and the surgeons just to make sure they have the right person. I feel that uh, when I first became full-time employee, I, the hospital invested in me by uh, giving me a pension plan, benefits, full-time job, vacation, and in return their investment, I've given them uh, 24 years of loyalty. Yeah, so I think it's very important that a hospital invests in uh, in their employees because they're, they're going to get a return. People still send cards of thank you to hospitals where they feel that they have been uh, well treated, or were surprised that they had how well they were treated for some reason. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a, just a funny, funny kind of work that we do. We're little busy bees and we're everywhere. 